Dan Oman, Mike Beer, Race 5 at Saratoga on Friday is the $150,000 Yado Stakes. New York bred fillies and mares going a mile and a sixteenth on the inner turf. Play the race, play the stakes filled card, play the run happy Travers on Saturday with a DRF Bets account. Sign up, get that $100 deposit match at drf.com forward slash bet. Let's meet the field of fillies and mares getting set to go eight and a half furlongs in the Yado. Chad Brown right now kind of waffling as to whether he wants to send the number 155 your even money morning line favorite to the Yado or maybe to the Boston Spa on the Travers undercard but let's assume she's running here for now she is a beacon of consistency Mike 18 of 19 on the board just a terror against New York breads but I'm interested in your thoughts on her last race I was disappointed that she got beat at two to five last time out in the Penny Memorial what are your thoughts yeah you weren't the only only one who was disappointed. I think every, everybody better in there and thought she was going to win. Um, and she came up short at the end. Um, listen, I can't agree. I can't disagree with you, Dan. She was, it was pretty disappointing that she didn't win that race because overall, I, you know, I felt like she got a good enough trip and she had her shot at it in the stretch and she just couldn't get by. Uh, not, not a paid price. who was on the lead. You know, I don't know how good that horse actually is, but um, it, it was a little disappointing that 55 didn't get by her. Yeah, that was my thought. I, maybe the pace wasn't that fast, but Javier got her into the race. She swung yeah. wide, turning into the stretch, lost a little ground, but she had dead aim on that horse and just couldn't get by. But if 55 runs here, she's obviously going to be tough considering her overall body of work against these kind of horses. Now, the time form U.S. pace projector could be very key in here. The number two English soul looks like the controlling speed in a blue bar situation. And in time form U.S. parlance, that means it favors horses on or near the early lead. English Soul has been running against Open N1X Company in her last two races, and I thought she ran well last time out. She set a pressured pace, she eventually put that pace presser away, and it took the favorite to run her down in the lane. Now, she's a big filly. These turns are a little tight for her. She gets out a bit on them, but I think if she gets this situation, she's dangerous at a price. I, I can't argue with any of that stuff. I mean, she just looks like the lone speed in this race. I like that they've come back to turf with her this year because she's fine on dirt, but I've always sort of preferred her as a turf horse. You know, I don't know. I'm not sure what the idea was first time off the layoff when they raided her um, over that yielding ground. I still thought she ran okay in that race, and she ran really well last time, Dan. The horse that ran her down, Masha, you'll see her in graded stakes races soon. She's a real good horse. This horse was a good second last time. The four bell of the spa sits second on your time form U.S. pace projector, and she was the one that was pushing English soul last time out to no avail. Now, maybe she just doesn't like good going or any kind of give on the ground. She's pretty, some good work sprinting on firm turf, but I wonder if it's more the sprint than the firm. Yeah, I think that she wants to go shorter distances. I really don't think that she wants to go this far. Um, she's a really nice horse, though. Um, she deserves a shot in a race like this. I I just feel like this is going to be too tough for her over this distance. Christophe Clement has two main contenders in this race, and I want to begin with the number three. We Gets the Monies, who came from way out of it over yielding ground last time out, to win a state bred optional two other than, only beaten two lengths by 55, two starts back in the Mount Vernon. The main concern is her running style. We see that she is last in this pace projector that that would not be a good thing. This race may not set up well for her. Her other big issue is she just doesn't break from the gate a lot of times. And so, you know, she can't really afford to do that. In the Mount Vernon two back, she actually ran a terrific race. I mean, she broke two or three legs slow in there, was way out of it, um, and made a really nice run through the stretch. I really liked that effort from her. I thought she took a step forward last time against weaker horses and won fairly convincingly. You know, I think she's a big contender in here, even with the pace working against her. And if 55 elects to run on Saturday, this horse would be my top pick. Munchkin Money is also going out for the Clement Barn. And last time out, she showed a little bit of moxie. Junior Alvarado got a nice inside spot on the far turn. And at about the 316th pole, there was a hole in between horses. Junior went for it. The hole kind of closed up. Munchkin Money had to snatch up and steady. But then she went right on through when it opened up again. And she won pretty easily. The race before that was a good second behind 55, and I think you can make the argument that she has more tactical speed yeah. than her stablemate and 55. Yeah, that's th those things are all true. I mean, you know, aside from her really good effort last time, um, it really feels like her running style is the main advantage she has in it because she's going to get a great trip in this race. You know, listen, she took a, I think she did take a step forward last time for Clement. I think overall, um, obviously, 55 is better than her. 
Um, maybe we get the monies is better than her too, but this Philly um, has a big advantage as far as tactics go. Now we had a ton of rain at Saratoga on Wednesday. The seven held accountable is the kind of horse that might be hoping this race is washed off. She's only raced twice on turf in her career. She won her debut over the melon turf course sprinting, but has been basically doing her work on the main track. And here's a formulator fact for Phil Serpy. Past five years, horses aged three and up dirt to turf routes, one for 34. 44 cent ROI distance won't be an issue what has happened to this mare's early speed this year yeah I don't know she's lost that it's it's interesting too that it just I'm surprised that they haven't really given her more opportunities on turf in her career because she was really good breaking her maiden first time out up here as a two-year-old the only other time they tried it was off the layoff last year and she was very slow from the gate that day I thought she had a big excuse I mean, she has um, the ability on turf, I think, to really run a better race here at a very big price, although I, I think it'd be tough for her to win. Creasy is the number nine, and she's an honest, honest filly, but I just couldn't find an excuse last time out when behind English Soul. She ended up with a pocket trip under Jose Ortiz. It says traffic late, but I thought she was one paced when running into the traffic. I did, too. Um, she's a pretty good horse. I think she could get a piece of this. Um, I would only use her underneath, though. All right, let's take a look at our top selections for this year's $150,000 Yado Stakes. You believe if 55 runs in here, she is just way the horse to beat. And I'd have to agree with you considering her body of work. If she doesn't go, you're going with the Clement horse Munchkin Money. Yeah, I, you know, I thought about um, picking against 55 just because I was disappointed in her last race a little bit. But she, you know, just going too back to the Mount Vernon, she beat a bunch of these horses and I thought she beat them very easily, Dan. I, I really probably wouldn't put too much in against her if she runs here. Um, if she doesn't run, I, I'll take the other Clement horse, uh, the three, uh, we get to monies. I think if 55 runs or if 55 doesn't run, I think English Soul is going to have a pace advantage in this race. And I think she's rounding back into her best form for Ray Handel. She showed some back class on dirt last year and has proven that she can handle the weeds in her two starts this form cycle. So I'm going to go 2-3-1 in the $150,000 Yado Stakes, one of several nice races at Saratoga on Friday. Bet them all with a DRF Bets account and enjoy a $100 deposit match on us. DRF.com forward slash bets where you get where you go for all the details it's an easy sign up approximate post time for the yado 310 eastern good luck